Right. Great question from Brian. Uh, why would anyone use a mesh avatar? I don't get it. What's the big deal? Haven't we all seen this before? Is Microsoft venturing into Second Life? I loved that. <laughs> uh, I mean, Mike was a huge Second Life guy. So, uh, what are your thoughts? <laughs> Yeah, well, I still have my, you know, I still have my MySpace up. So that whole well, second life yeah. and MySpace <laughs> and it go right together. Yep. Yeah, no, no, not really. Um, I don't know. I'm I'm kind of mixed on it because it really, it, it, everything else is like avatars. When you go into any other kind of service, you go into Twitch, you go into Discord, you go into, you know, any of these other online services. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> there goes Christian. Right on. Yeah, changing it right up. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you know, you start getting into these avatars, right? The problem is, is that would you stop? Uh, Wait, I have, to, I have to do one. I have to do one more. This is my favorite one. Robot dance. <laughs> That's great. So, if I can continue, Christian. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Not distracting at all. <laughs> yeah. um, so you, you, you look at all these different the services that have these avatars, except we're talking about small avatars. Now Microsoft has gotten into this whole really kind of second life, like you mentioned, or uh, I hate to say it, but meta. It's gotten into the whole meta avatar world um, and bringing up, you know, a lifelike uh, animation uh, that you can pretty much just hide behind and you can, you know, not have to show your face. You can be whatever you want to be uh, to the people on your meeting, um, you know. So I think it's I think it's cool. I don't think it's necessary. Um, but, you know, it's 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 not something that if they invested a lot of money in it, I, I, I think that was the wrong thing to do. <laughs> But fun is necessary. You know, we're spending so much time in these video calls and there is a lot of people when we look talking about being inclusive, um, there are a lot of people who really don't cope with having their face out there and when we call, mm -hmm. talk about diversity and inclusion and when we're also appealing to the young who, you know, really enjoy that sort of thing or in the schooling environment where they're very self-conscious and they won't turn their camera on at all, when we get the quiet and the really self-conscious, it's a way for them to actually be able to flick it on and give them that bit of freedom, which I really love when you've got family members um, that sit in that neurodiverse range, to see them actually feel like that they can be included was, is a fabulous thing. From a from a meeting perspective, when it's being serious and it's like, oh, can we not? Um, there's a, you know, there's like two sides to it that yeah, it's happening. Yeah, Christian, when can I we was not? Meeting, yeah, yeah, can we not? You know, um, <laughs> but, but it, I was on the Yana, you know, call and, and then Microsoft, they all turned on their avatars and showed us back when. And I kind of went, oh, hang on, who's who? Because like, yeah. not all pictures are very representative of who they are. And you're kind of going, yeah. hang on. So then you're reading names to try and then it was all a little confusing when we're in a, a serious kind of call so that's the yeah. question so, that, that yeah. that's the question too i know that there's a i won't i won't uh uh, uh shame him here but a, a good friend uh, a microsoft employee who says his his policy his personal policies is if he joins in a call and uh and there's people that are in there with avatars he exits the call he says yeah. i can't take it seriously like yeah. i can't yeah. like for the work setting and i'm harsh. just like well yeah yeah uh, but so I will say this, uh, like, look, I, I like I have it. I went and built the profile. I don't actively use it. I don't have a problem with even if I'm having a bad hairdo, a hair day, I which are which is often um, <laughs> and I it, it I'm OK with uh, with being on on camera and, and doing that. But the I understand for all the reasons, Kirsty, you just brought up and for uh -huh. the broader VR and AR world. I mean, the other side of this is that it's uh, we're going to see it more and more. And uh, I think I, I'm more excited. We've talked about this in the past. I'm more excited about the augmented reality capabilities. I, I'm I'm excited to get to the point where we can have more more realistic avatars, where it almost like looks at your picture and 
does like a scan. And so it's a cartooned version of you at one point and that you can tweak it a bit, but that it's more representative. So you do know who that is. Um, but there's also something that happens when you're in those environments, the VR and the AR environments where you, your mind adjusts to that very well. And having an avatar versus just having a floating picture, I said, it does something to the brain. Uh, you are able to you adjust to that within those you know of uh, VR worlds, uh, it, I, and it's it, 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 and so I like I get it and it's powerful uh, in in those. I think we're not anywhere close to where it needs to be for it to be truly be mainstreamed. I think we're yeah. years away from that. Um, but I think I think for me it, it, in. What I said before, I understand the the diversity and inclusion portion of it. That that's I think is is something that's really beneficial. But at the same time, for me, I'm kind of like the you know it's distracting, okay, if you will. Um, for me, it, it's I can't focus on. I, I feel like the person you mentioned from Microsoft. I can't focus on the meeting, right? Because I'm distracted by all these cartoon characters all over the screen, right? Um, and what they're doing. So I really don't get that from a people perspective anymore, being two years, you know, where you had all virtual meetings and you're just used to people with their backgrounds and their, you know, animals and their, you know, whatever And the interruptions we, and ch yeah, children yeah, and all just, that. Right. We've become and, much more yeah, and lenient eventually, and, and, and empathetic eventually, to that. Yeah, yeah. With the avatars, eventually you get to a point where you just accept them. Right. Yeah. But I'd like to really see is that, you know, you get to a total immersive experience like they've been talking about is <clears throat> when you get to the immersive experience where you're wearing the Oculus, you know, or you're wearing, you know, uh -huh. and being able to go out and, and, and walk and talk and touch and, you, can, you know, you can't really feel anything. Um, but it also, I feel, I, I, I feel like I don't want to get to that point. And I'll tell you why I don't want to get to that point is because I feel like that I've just become my son's generation uh, where they don't go outside a lot. They don't socialize a lot. They stay at home. They they put on the 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 VR or they they're playing online games, and that's their socialization. Um, or it's on a phone. So as an adult, you know that's lived, you know, fifty plus years. It's a thing where remember when you had to go into the office and it was a requirement to be in the office, and that's how you socialize with people. That's how you met people. That's how you, you know. You know, lived uh, basically, uh, but this this I think is 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 leading us to um, being more secluded uh, yeah. and less and less uh, outgoing uh, and you know uh, receptive to getting out and meeting people. Yeah. Uh, so that's that's something that sticks in my head, um, and I just I don't know that I got a problem with that. Yeah, yeah. I, look, I think I it comes. It, I think each team needs to have. It's like part of that collaboration contract. It's the, you know, what do you do when it comes to meetings? It's about understanding your team and and setting our boundaries and understanding what those boundaries are. And just go. I'm sorry. I, you know, I don't cope with avatars. Is it possible to have them? You know, and be vocal about it. Um, but but polite, you know, it's like all yeah. things. We we just have to we just have to start thinking about how we want to engage as a group. Like for a teacher, for example, who's got a lot of students, you know, will that teacher actually allow them to have avatars on for these reasons or not? It comes down to there's going to be some personal preferences, and um, it, there's no real right or wrong answer. If you want uh, to experience the whole avatar thing, but in the real world, um, there is uh, some some lessons to be learned from the movie Frank. If you've not seen it, no, I don't. Look, know look it up, Mike. Okay. <laughs> All right. Yeah. But uh, great soundtrack, by the way. Uh, but uh, yeah, it's uh, I I I think there's a lot that still needs to evolve around that space. Again, I go back to saying that I, I'm excited about the augmented reality aspects of where uh -huh. things are going and, you know, not so much the pure VR side of that. And I think that advances in the avatars to where it is 
looks more like actually us, um, I think will be helpful in, in getting us there. Yeah, I, I definitely think we're just, it's a maturation thing. We're at the beginning, we're at the very, very, very beginning of being able to use these things for something that matters. And just remember, all tech starts with other, you know, other implications and other reasons for being around. And ultimately, you know, it, it kind of comes into the culture and it comes into the the normalcy of what we do day to day. And, and you know, the next couple of generations, th this is normal for them. You know, that they, they are very, very used to those types of things, and they're going to expect that to persist through their business life as they get older. They won't look at that as not being serious. They will look at it as this is just how life normally is. So I think there's going to be a transition, but it's going to be slow. But I do agree with you, Christian. I think the more... I think the more realistic and the more like us they can become for us to use in these kinds of situations when when you do have and it's not so much a bad hair day but you know to Kirstie's point mm -hmm. it's the idea of I don't have a home life that I want to put on camera or maybe you know I'm not in a situation where I feel comfortable you know sharing myself but I do want to have a presence and I'm going to tell you what a couple of years ago I just said it was kind of silly but after sharing its circles with people's initials in them for the last two years <laughs> I'd rather yeah. look at an avatar yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's a good yeah. point. That's a yeah. good point. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's growing on me for sure. <laughs> I hate you.